Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. I'm just starting a little bit early. At least getting the stream connected and checking things. We'll start here shortly. Gonna do some uh, choppa training today. Might also mess around with the SR22. The advice for today, slow down, son. Makes me think of Mexican radio. I'm on a Mexican, whoa, radio, radio, radio. Um, I'm on a European radio. All right, 15 minutes after the hour. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny's here. Today's lesson, more chopper training. Need it. Need it, need it. Yesterday was pretty embarrassing, but kind of like the glider training as well. Embarrassing. So if you'd like to fly along today, I'm using uh, the little blue helicopter that they give you, the trainer, whatever it is. Uh, that little guy. Yeah, it's my camera moving way too fast. Little tiny thing. Like, do you need more? No, no. I'm happy with whatever. Colors look so sad. Amazing they can do all that work. Amazing what what we can create. Hey, I want to thank Curtis for being the latest uh, liker and subscriber. Thank you, Curtis. I really appreciate that. Please like and subscribe. Hey, if you want to join again and fly with me today, then uh, whatever you want to fly, it doesn't matter. You don't have to fly this, but that's what I'm going to be flying. Uh, let me go into the chat room, and I am at KFly. K-F-L-Y Out of Colorado Springs, Colorado Yep, we get the the designation K-Fly The coolest airport I-C-A-O In the United States Right here in my backyard K-Fly Easy to remember I'm pretty much always Flying out of here uh, or KCOS, the Colorado Springs Municipal with the bigger planes. Do, 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 do. I have toggled my drone camera in such a way, or toggled the keyboard, that it cleared. It's cleared. Switching phone from drone. All right, let's go through the checklist on this little baby. Flight controls free and correct. You're free. Emancipated. Collective will travel free then down. 
Now, as I understand it, uh, the way I've got it set up for joysticks is you have to have your cyclic and so your cyclic and your collective joined. Right? I don't have a full proper helicopter setup. But again, they the videos are stressing, you know, well, you should still think about the vehicle in that way. Because in the real world, you would be managing uh this and this. I think that's, I don't know if this is the co-pilots, but either way, I mean, and just, you've really got to think about it differently. You know, it's definitely not an airplane. And so some of the problems I've been having yesterday was, you know, in learning how to do coordinated turns or straighten level flight because it's not an airplane. So I'll be talking to you, I'll keep the instructor's lessons going through my head and I'll repeat what's going through my head as we go on. All right, before starting the engine, fuel shut off valve. Do, 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 do. It's on. All switches into the off position. A lot of switches. Do, do, do. Master, strobe, pump, alt, navigation lights, landing lights, carburetor heat. Carburetor heat, they want to auto. I was just thinking that. I'm like, why don't we put that in auto? That's a nice feature. Master. Oh, it even gets this little... Buddy. Pulled engine start, fuel on board, check. I don't see fuel. Is it digital? It's got to be digital. So how can you check your fuel on board if your avionics aren't on? Do, do, do. That's weird that you don't have a, a fuel indicator. Don't play cells. Nope. Governor. Governor. This is a tough one. Know which position it's in. Strobe on, fuel pump on, fuel pressure, tech increasing. Guess what? We have no. Maybe that was the mass that's supposed to be on. They highlighted this one. That's why we couldn't see our fuel.
Okay, there's a fuel. It's very nice. <clears throat> nice display. Transponder. All right, inject injections. Now, uh, now this is something new. I don't know about what injections are. That rotates. That's another thing. That rotates, not just up and down. That thing moves. That's throttle. Rotor brake. That's mixture. You don't want it full rich in Colorado. Fly, check, lock forward. Doesn't lock forward. Maybe that's the maybe that's the mean forward. That's clutch now. Engage and lock. Check light on. Light on. Let's see it say start anything. for off where was the starting engine Oh, I missed some stuff here. That thing's supposed to be on, on, check beeper. Let's turn it off then. 
selective down, alternator on. Alt light, click off. We got an alt light on. On, startling on, back on. Well, how can you see the starter line? Starter light. Alternator on. All right, alternator lights on. Start anything. Man. I'm gonna need a camera just for this now. That's right. What the hell? Injections. Why is it so damn hard to start these things? I can't believe I'm being thwarted by a helicopter. Okay. I'm doing it now. Okay. 
Did the damn thing start? I'm seeing some movement up there. But I don't. Plasma drop off. But when does it say to turn the thing off? And it would help if we had some fuel running to the thing. Master Butch. Butch light was on. another That's not going to get us anywhere. Hey, how are you? This thing's infuriating, man. 
I can't believe I'm being thwarted by a helicopter checklist. No, I haven't seen Henning this afternoon. I had a, I had to do a late start. I had to run this morning. So I just got in um, like 38 minutes ago. Master on. Gold engine start. Fuel on board. Check. Waiting for the gimbal. Wimble. I am fine, and I thank you for asking. Just, uh, Struggling with this. Okay. Come on. I'm assuming that's off. No. Oh. I have uh, any indicator there. Coming or off light. Check on. Governor off. Good. Okay. That helps. Mix. A little rich. That's yeah, set for Colorado. I'll leave it there. Altimeter. Come up here. Now that we have radio. Tune K flight traffic. We'll get our all temperature reading. Three zero one six. Three zero one, two, three, four, five, six. Right in there. Okay, altimeter set. You'll. pump on fuel pressure check that it's increasing well we didn't see it but maybe it came up from there sections bottle Go to break. Effective down. Alt on. Alternator light is off. Clutch engage lock uh, unlock. Check light on.
wait for off. Oh, that's my last engine. That's my RPM 1000. I don't see anything changing. We didn't start. Is this thing bouncing around on me and I'm not getting stuff? I'm, yeah, I'm not. After the throttle, that's where we went off. If I just use my mouse wheel, it's scrolling to the bottom. Mixture, magneto. On. Plasma, check beeper. Starter. On starter, light on, then back off. Just to a thousand RPM. Here's the RPM. Hello. I'm being thwarted by starting up this helicopter. I'm doing something wrong. I can't get this son of a gun. Start. And I'm just going through the checklist. That's all I'm doing. thought I have I've been I've gone through this checklist two times now and I'm doing something wrong in this checklist I'm not sure where I'm doing it wrong or what I'm doing wrong um, but I'm doing something wrong so that's something I'll have to keep trying on my own later because I don't want to keep wasting more time right at the moment so when all else fails, go back to the main menu. You know what it could be, too? There's a bug that things don't operate right if you sit too long in a parking spot without getting your stuff all started. I don't know. I'll just put us at the runway, though. So today's lesson in the one of the videos I watched last night, the instructor basically kept saying, Slow down, son. Slow down. That, you know, if you're going to learn how to fly a helicopter, one, just, just take it really, really slow. And all these things you need to think about, because it's not an airplane, right? So some of the problems I had yesterday is I would engage my trim, get my nose down, 
I'd put too much nose down and then I'd compensate. And he's like, yeah, that's, you know, he wasn't talking to me. He was talking in general saying, you're going to find yourself overcompensating all the time. And then you're going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you're going to induce a lot of user induced constipation. You know, and he's like, everything you got to do. And then when you're making turns, you got to think about your power level because it's not based on wings and, you know, propellers. And so pretty much one hand has to be on your throttle because uh, it's just interesting way to think. That's for sure. All right. So the first thing you said is go into a hover. We're gonna do that. Oh, duh, me. Did I switch back? We were flying planes at the end of the, end of the day yesterday. Okay, good. It's on rotor. Rotor. Yeah, plasma was on. Everything was on, as far as I could tell. That I could. You, you can't mistake the plasma being on because it beeps at you. He recommends starting with no wind because he says you're never going to have a perfect hover because the wind is always going to be messing with you. I get it. I want to learn how to fly everything. So touchy. All right. Tipping the nose down will start increasing you going forward, but at the same time to maintain you've got to be applying more power to the rotor. all this A video of a man the other night that was doing cross country in gliders. It was so impressive. There's some people their 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 level of skill is so amazing.
Uh, this is a real life pilot. A real life glider instructor. Talking about, yeah, how we, uh, you know. <laughs> 20, 20 years of glider flying and uh, teaches, and uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, you can absolutely do cross country. He says, most people think that glider, they just tow you up and you work your way back down to the ground. And mostly he goes, that is mostly what it's like, but when you're an expert glider, can you imagine that? The fuel you could save if you were that good at gliding. Talk about being able to go anywhere. Colorado Springs approach Kineas two one six thousand nine hundred feet. Kineas two one Colorado Springs approach altimeter three zero decimal one five radar contact continue. Colorado Springs approach Kineas. Oh, something I forgot to do. I forgot to download the downtown air uh, downtown Colorado Springs is a high definition maps. I don't normally use the um. Whatever it is, the terrain downloader. So learning how to trim this thing out. So I've got my uh, lateral set to my buttons on my joystick, and right now, kind of see, because you're always making constant little tiny adjustments. But trying to learn how to understand how to tilt your. Uh, Get your propellers tilting. Put more power in. That's the thing. When I pull my power up, put the power in, it raises the nose. I don't want to raise the nose. had almost I've almost got the altimeter stable no fine balancing between your trim and your power with an instructor your longest flight was 61 minutes that's awesome Okay, pull back up just a touch more power. Coming to Charlie Airspace here. Call to Springs Airport. I didn't realize we had our own little, they had their own little, uh, must be a school district right on the airport though. They got their own little football field. I know that they've got their own golf course. Good, got the altitude. Mm, uh, well, it's still, to say stable, but then we see it going up a little bit. All right, a little bit, pull back a tiny bit more on the power. Stay right here. 
right there, baby. I like it. Yeah, most important that they have their own golf course. Microsoft used to do Microsoft Golf. And that was always a pleasure to get a new operating system from Microsoft because, you know, the new golf. And I'm surprised they haven't brought golf back. And I've been, from day one, even when I was an alpha tester, in the input suggestions and feedback, I'm like, I know this is going to sound stupid, but we can do anything these days. And as you go into the future, you can do anything. Nothing is going to be impossible. Would you please consider a Microsoft Golf, bringing back Microsoft Golf, but bring it back also. You can play it standalone, but if you have Microsoft Flight Simulator... It adds the golf course where it's at, and when you land at an airport, not only can you access Unicom, you can schedule a round of golf at whatever golf course is there, and you can multiplay it with your fellow pilots, right? I think that would be awfully fun to do. I would love to take, I would love to take you on at some golf after we're done flying. I mean, that's that's ultimately what an MMO is supposed to be. That's how it started. Uh, back in with Starfleet Command and others, we're like, look, we don't want to leave the game. Don't you get it? Once we're done flying and shooting each other, we want to be, ha we want to hang out and socialize and we want to do all these other activities. And that's how it started for Star Trek Online anyway. But that's the same idea here now. We're getting back to that point. It is an MMO because we can play together and we can fly together. But when we're done flying, we want to hang out. And there, that the social aspect is missing. We can't even chat in the game at the moment. Right? They want you to have your own chat, your own Skype, whatever. Um. Can't believe how well we're doing. We've maintained straight and level flight this whole time almost. And right now we're just right there. Okay. So yeah. This is an MMO, and when we're done flying, we want to stay in it. We don't want to why why do we want to leave? We don't want to leave. So we need places to go. And Unicom is what is used to schedule whatever is near that airport whatever they got going on you can usually that's the way I was it's that's the way they explain it in the training so you having real world training might be able to confirm that but in training they're always like look yeah that's what Unicom is for Unicom is to talk about what restaurants diners whatever you need whatever services you need do you need a ride do you need whatever and use the Unicom Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now, got the straight and level now. So now what I want to make turns, and they said when you turn, you're going to normally, uh, when you turn, you're going to descend. You're going to start losing altitude in the turn. And that you want to incre increase power to the rotor in a turn so that you don't lose too much and that looks like I'm turning too hard so you take it slow so I'm starting to climb back up there but I'm supposed to be in a turn and not lose and I'm losing too much altitude Okay, well that's what it's supposed to be for. Alright, so I've got to get it into a smaller turn. I don't have enough rotor power. Three 
Yeah, we're starting to climb a little bit again. Yeah, and there's, you know, not just one of many things. One, I wish they would bring back combat so we could then have fun shooting at each other and practice all that stuff. But yeah, if not for golf, I said, Colorado you know, they put a car in there. And I think it would be neat to have very, like, golf courses. They would be separate instances. So when we schedule a golf course or we go to the golf course, it's going to literally load Microsoft Golf. It's going to basically take us out of the simulator in a way. And there's a way to do other things too, like um, exploration. The radio is just a little too active today. I'm going to probably have to turn them off. Um, all right, this one was kind of silly. But I'm a big fan of ancient aliens. I'm a big fan of ancient aliens. And I uh, requested... No, put more power. That's full power. Okay, so we're just too much now. Uh, I requested ancient aliens that they work with the History Channel. And they... And they have some artists custom build certain old sites, you know, like a mile, a mile, a mile, or whatever. But with super high fidelity it, on a ground for a, a ground level tile. So when you go to it and you're you're down on the ground running around, well, one we need avatars, and uh, two we might need some cars. But either way, a path. A path that you can take from the airport, wherever you land at, to the destination. And everything along that path is in high definition. So again, you don't have to visualize the whole world. You're just dedicating all the graphic power to like a small little plot of land, making it look really, really good. Hey, how do you think you did on your test? That's funny, the German accent. Yeah, avatars are a big deal. Would be a would be a big deal. Um, I want passengers. I don't know if I've told you that one before or on one of my live streams. Um, but I want passengers. I want a passenger app. Yeah, I want real passengers. Okay, so we can do share. I would love to do. And they said they're going to bring us shared cockpit. Sooner or later, they will bring us shared cockpit. And I said, yeah, but I want a social room. I want a social app for people that don't fly. All my Twitter friends and Twitter followers and social media friends and Facebook friends and family, they want to fly with me, but they don't know how to fly. They're not, I don't want them to fly. I'm going to fly. So I said, what we need is an app. They can download a small little program on their phone or their device or whatever. And they plug in my username and they enter my profile. And it then gives them this neat little like ticket counter or whatever, some sort of cute little interface that that lets them know when I am flying. And it maybe even shows the plane and shows the seats and how many seats are available and what seat you can pick. Or, as a pilot, I can start a flight and I can click a button that sends an alert out to them, who, everybody who has the app, and they're able to then pick a seat. And it basically will do the same thing. It will create them an avatar. They get to create their own out flying avatar. They rack up frequent flyer miles. It makes them appear in a seat. They can chat with one another. They can chat with me. 
we can play certain games together, like trivia games or sightsee games. They all have their own independent camera. Uh, if it's a cabin, some small walking around so that they can see each other and talk to one another. And things like that. So I would love to be able to do an Airbus flight with all of my followers on Twitter. And I would love to have at least, at least 20 of my Twitter followers flying in a plane, running around like crazies in the back. So you thought you'd have 45 minutes for the exam and 40 minutes after you checked the time and freaked out. You still had two questions to answer. Later we had one and a half hours, not 45 minutes. That's good. All right. I want to slow down and come down. So come down. And then we have to bring the no nose up, right? <laughs> to the altitude we want to hold okay we're climbing so let's put more power down bring the nose back up to the altitude we want to hold we the power a tiny bit down. Oh, I hope I hope you did. Nah, you'll get an A. Come on. If you can fly, I think if you can learn how to fly, that's what I tell myself now. I'm like Man, I mean, I, again, not in real life, but I mean, I've learned what uh, this. If I can learn all this, I can learn anything. be able to deliver us all kinds of amazing experiences with 2024 20, and beyond. I really need a Toby eye tracker.
that rock formation right in front of us, the very tip front there, it's called the Kissing Camels because it splits in two and it looks like two camels laying there side by side kissing. Maybe not so much in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it's an interesting formation. I can't even believe it's Christmas already. Every day is Christmas when I'm doing this stuff. Well, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this helicopter stuff. Maybe not great, but I'm getting it. One of my monitors is freaking out. I've certainly got my fingers crossed for you. I hope you do very well. Christmas. Not going to be the best Christmas this year, but it, eh, it's, we made it through another year. I'm just the opposite. I'm... I'm trying to learn with my left hand and it's very difficult because in the uh, Airbus the joystick controller is a left-handed controller which means if I can't do it I need to be over in the co-pilot seat maps are so old they they built water towers on this hill right here and there's a Walmart here and a shopping center and a whole bunch of development this whole mountain is developed now they really need to update our maps uh oh we're getting an error on YouTube What's going on? YouTube not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Um, are you experiencing any visual lag on your end or is it skipping or lagging or doing anything? Because YouTube is telling me that we're having a problem. This is called Motor City. It's all it is is automobile retailers, sellers. Whole area is nothing but Auto City.
I used to work right in this area and drive cars over to that building right below us. my downtown a lot of neat little shops we don't have a whole bunch of big skyscrapers that's our tallest building right there that's it You know, I actually didn't know that, but yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, like, we can go bush flying anywhere if there's national parks, I suppose, that... Yeah, this is my town. heading towards my house now. I've never, I've never seen that. <laughs> never seen anybody actually do that. Cannonball run. So my problem yesterday is just I didn't understand the connection between uh, up and down and the power as I maneuver around to make sure, you know, the trim is right and the power is right. Try to maintain straight and level flight. And I think I understand it a lot better today.
that I missed my house. Aha. Getting turned around in my own town. Miss you, Michael. I, that, it's kind of appropriate. I miss my best friend. I haven't seen him in a long, long time, and he and he likes to hide, change his phone number and stuff. All right. So this is the road to my house. It one way. Come down this road, then you're gonna take a turn at these water towers right here. Turn down this street. Come down this hill. And when you can see the school at one o'clock, there's a church right next to it. And we pause right here or not. Okay. So from the school, which is right here. Then elementary school, and then here's a used to be a church right here. Not very good. Now that's that's my mom's house. This is the, a barn. It's a big barn that my dad built for all of his automobiles. And then there's an RV garage in the back. This nice little driveway my mom's house off of her house there and you go right across the street behind this tree to the left to the white roof second house in and that is my house Glad they at least got that right. I can't wait for better and better graphics down the road. I mean, it's so cool. I mean, it's a flight simulator. So, and I'm sure people with better computers and that have the high resolution maps, I'm sure it must look better. It must look a lot better. Um, where are we at? 30, we're at the bottom of the hour. Time for a quick little smoke break. Do, 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 do. Change that so it is. Okay. Okay. 
it's considered the seventh ugliest in Germany. Have you ever been to Landstuhl? Landstuhl? I want to screw up a German accent. Landstuhl. You ain't type that. You know where that's at? It's supposed to be near Stuttgart. Uh, I'll have to find it. Let me pull up Google. And see what it says. L A N D S T U H L. It's um, do, 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 do. Stuhl is officially the Sikinjin town of Landstuhl, town in the Kaiser Slautern district of Rhineland Palatinate in Germany. It is the seat of the Verband. Oh, I can't even pronounce this. Verbands. I can't. Kind of municipal association. Landstuhl is situated on the northwest edge of the Latinate Forest, 11 miles west of Kaiserslautern. It is also located near the United States Air Force Base, Ramstein Air Force Base. Earliest traces of human settlement in Landstuhl date around 500 BC. The heathen rock. From the Celtic period was a holy site until Roman times and Roman settlement dates from the first century about 1152. Emperor Frederick had Nansteen Castle built on the mountain south of the town. So it looks like it is. Looks like it's south. It is not all the way south. It is about. It's very. It's south, but southeast. Southwest, I'm sorry. It's on the southwest edge of Germany. Yeah, Kaiser Slautern. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking is that I was born there. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. 
my dad was stationed right here at Fort Carson when he met my mother. He was in the military. This is the military base here. And they deployed him from here. All of this is the military base. They deployed him from here to Germany. No, it was... No, he was just shipped over there. He was a mechanic. So yeah, my dad was a mechanic, and they shipped him over there, and he took my mom over there with him, and uh, she was pregnant. And I was... So I was born there. And then one year later... He was sent back to the United States, right back here. This is the Army uh, Air Base over here. That away. And if you've ever seen that television show, Stargate, they have shown you that, or I showed Hans. No, no German ancestors. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, yes, I, I do. Somewhere in the family line, there is. But, um... But I wouldn't know anybody. In the Stargate movie. Okay, well, there was this movie and a television show called Stargate. And the United States military had found these Stargates in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. And they brought one of them back to the United States. And they put it inside of NORAD Mountain. Inside, they put it in the facility inside the mountain. This is the facility right here. Right below us. So the Stargate, the Stargate television show takes place inside that mountain. There's normally a bunch of aerial towers up there which Microsoft hasn't put in. But this is NORAD. It's North American Radar Defense System something or another. So if there's any nuclear missiles or anything moving through air, the air around the world, everybody in that mountain knows about it. Yeah, it should be on Netflix. It used to be. There's a neat shrine over here, too. Let's go check that out. Will Rogers Shrine. Come on, camera. Now I'm starting to get some hiccups in the game. A little bit of lag. Wonderful zoo down here. It's our zoo. Then there's this shrine up here on the mountain.
I was trying to hit the pause button. Oh, we were right there too. Yeah, typical. Yeah, well, well, I got my flying in for the day. No, that's good. I'm wrapping it up now. So, thanks. I'm I'm glad you were able to show up today. Yeah. So I think today, despite that crash there at the end, I think today was a marked improvement over yesterday's helicopter attempts. I, I'm I'm under I'm starting to understand it. I'm starting to get it. And I, I think if I keep at it, I will get it more and more. So I think today was a success. So thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, tomorrow I will be occupied in the morning again. So I'll try to be back about same time tomorrow. And then as we go into the weekend, it might be really snowy here. And so I don't know that I'll be driving much at all so I, I will probably be able to make my 10 o'clock shows later later um, in the week in this weekend you have a fantastic day and we will see you all tomorrow yeah on Saturday we can try uh, I don't know about going cross, cross country but we'll definitely do some more glider flying Yep, back to the gliders. Well, I think I got out, I got what I wanted to get out of the helicopters. I think that I get it now. As long as I take it a little bit slower and make sure that I'm constantly adjusting my power to my rotor, I think I'm going to be just fine. Okay, see you tomorrow.